Hello everyone and today I'm going to be showing you how to fix your Minecraft from crashing with exit code 1. So usually there's about three different things that you can do uh, to stop this from happening. This is uh, something like what the error message will look like. Um, I don't have it right up live now, I've just got a picture of it. Um, something like an unexpected error occurred, the game has crashed, we're sorry for the inconvenience. And it says exit code 1 down the bottom here. <clears throat> so the first thing you can do is go ahead and hit Windows key and R real quick and that's going to bring up this little run menu and you're going to want to type in percentage sign app data percentage sign and just hit enter <coughs> and that's going to bring up this folder here and somewhere near the top there should be dot minecraft we're just going to click on the dot minecraft folder here <coughs> the first reason that you may be getting exit code one game crashes is because you have outdated mods in the mods folder so if we go in here, uh, these are up to date right now, but if you're running a version of Minecraft that isn't the same version uh, as the mods that are in the mods folder, or if there's mods from multiple different versions in the mods folder, that can be one of the reasons why you're going to get exit code 1, uh, as outdated, uh, outdated mods in the, the mods folder. So uh, to fix this, you'd basically just take these mods out, and then it should, it should go up and running again. If that doesn't work, I'm just going to put these back in here. There is a second, more extreme option that requires a few extra steps. Uh, so for this one, we're going to want to go into dot .minecraft again. And we're going to want to go down to saves and anything else that you want to save from the Minecraft before you completely reset it. So you would go into your saves and you would want to copy all of this. In fact, you'd probably just want to right click on the saves folder and just go copy and then paste it to the desktop or wherever you want to save it. Uh, you might want to do the same for resource packs if you have a lot of those uh, downloaded and it is going to wipe uh, pretty much everything that's in the .minecraft folder. What you're going to do is go ahead and just right click on the .minecraft folder and delete it. Uh, and don't worry because once you have deleted it and then you run the launcher again it will reinstall everything in the .minecraft folder but um, any problems that could have arisen by something going wrong in here will be gone. It will get rid of uh, extra clients that you have installed and um, other type and installations like FFmpeg if you're using Replay Mod and stuff. So this is sort of like a last resort. It'll also get rid of um, all other clients. So I've got Bleach, Ares, um, I believe I've got Replay Mod folders in here. They're all going to get wiped. Uh, versions, if you have <coughs> a bunch of custom versions in here like... Um, Aristos or something like this then that's also probably going to get wiped uh, but yeah you can so you would just go ahead and delete the dot minecraft folder and then rerun the launcher and it should reinstall everything and fix any problems and that should start running again uh, the last thing that you can possibly do if both of those things don't work this is sort of a last resort hopefully it, it's um, fixed by now uh, but you can just go ahead and download the latest version of java so just go to java uh, you can just basically search it up. You don't really need the link. It's just java.com. And then just you hit the download button and download the latest version of Java. Uh, and that should fix any other problems. If it's still not working, I have no idea how to help you. Sorry, those are the only three ways that I know how to fix it. Uh, thanks for watching and have a nice day. Goodbye.